Hello everybody, welcome back to 6906 Gaming and Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, we have taken a couple weeks off from this game. Um, I had a little uh, change in the work schedule and uh, stuff going on in personal life, so we um, didn't play. Uh, and we've also been playing uh, Seven Days to Die Wild West mod with Lao uh, from Patrol Gaming, or I'm sorry, Patrol Nation. Uh, and I've just been having a blast with that. How to put this on the back burner so i am going to get this shirt out to twitter and facebook and all those fun places um actually you know what i don't share out to facebook i share out to twitter and Discord. although i could probably start sharing out to facebook who knows All right, I uh, just got to get the shout out to Discord and we will be ready to get started. Just have a couple more to get shared out here and then we can get going today um let's see here All right, um, there we go. Okay, so I got, I got it all nice and shared out for, for us real quick. Um, let's see, we have our main character and I kinda, uh, I did a generic title cause I kinda forgot where we're at on this game. It's been a couple weeks. So we're gonna have to take a second to figure that out. Y'all hear that little noise in the background? That's just um, me drinking out of my Wendy's cup. Let's go map. Mm -hmm. Oh, hold map. All right, so we gotta uh, go all the way over here. Okay. Hey, Heidi, how are you doing, ma'am? I hope you're doing well today. Guess we're gonna go ahead and uh. Let's 
go through here. I open this place up. Nope. I still don't have an unlock spell. Which is fine. Oh. Saying I can't. What the hell? Oh well. Huh. Owner. Okay. I appreciate it, Heidi. Boink. There we go. There's another one over here somewhere. There we go. Look at that. Your blood's on Ranrock's hands. Hey, Christy. Welcome. Look at that. I got fire. Anything in here that's worth looking at? No. All right. Back on the path. Let's be able to do this. Oh, there we go. No trouble for my family worked in the mines at one time or other. Look at this. All right, Heidi, take care. Thanks for stopping by. Huh. Seems a pleasant enough little place. I forgot how to land. Oh, that's how I land. Okay. There we go. We want to make sure we get this. Okay, I understand if you can't. Families first. You know what? I'm not even going to worry about that right now. Stop there on my way back. Speed boost. Hey, Peggy. Hey, Stacy. Mm-hmm. This is so much better than walking.
We. All right. I should dismount here. Oh shit! How do I dismount? Oh, hold B. Okay. There we go. Aha! I'm a flying professional. Well, I'm a flying something. We're not alone. We are not. Ranrock's loyalists. Around a dozen, I can see, but could be more. Can't we operate past them into the tower? We could, but we've no idea what's in the tower. More importantly, however, I'd like to know why they're here. They've set up camp just ahead. I suggest we investigate a little before doing anything else. Let's go. Let's go. Well, this isn't ideal. No, it isn't. This way, and I suggest we use the disillusionment charm here. Uh, it's in announcing our arrival. It's this one, right? You don't have much in this crew like what my mother used to make. Well, we do the best to say as much in the work. Quickly now. Hey, look at that. Shh. Sneaking up on folks. Stay hidden and cast Petrificus Totalus. Um. What is that? I have to be prompted to hit it. Okay. Yes, look at that. Oh, that would be so nice to have at work. Okay. Um, do I need to do that to everybody? Crap. Let's go. More goblin presents. Look at that, almost got caught. Oh, I can use my good magic to kill him. But no, we have to use, uh... We're all dropping money and fun stuff, too. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to split these other two up. Hello? Over here. There we go. Look at that. Yeah, I don't like. I still don't like my hat. Kind of sucks. Orders directly from Ranrock. These orders indicate that they're after something to do with names. What names? And why here? There's food. 
Professor, there's food. Whoa. Uh oh. I will draw blood. Stupid to come here. Look at that. Many goblins have always been antagonistic towards wizard kind, but this is different somehow. Oh, I'm glad that's over. Yeah, I'm glad all that's over. Let's see what's in here. Natural beige scarf. Uh, here. Scarf. All right. Um, I mean, it's an upgrade. Wait, what else do I have? Edward. Oh, come on. Oh, that's so much not better. Um, can't imagine the goblins know about the trials. They know that something is significant about this place. Revelio. Oh, there's nothing to Revelio around here. Oh, yep, yeah, there's some money. Thank you. Yeah, I think we're pretty much screwed on hats in this game. It's locked. Well, why don't you teach me that spell? I can get into other places. An unlocking job. Very handy. There's no time now, but if you don't learn it soon, Rebellio. you can work on it back at the castle. I wonder who this is. With robes like that, it could be anyone. Money? We need to do this. What's in here? Money? Revelio. Hey, can you come to my house? Hey, wait, where you at? Come here. I, I need, no, don't fall. I need you at my house. I imagine these brooms have been enchanted for centuries. Never seen an enchantment last this long. Welcome to San Bacar's Tower. Hello, Professor. Did you say San Bacar's Tower? I did. Professor Bacar is a keeper you have yet to encounter. I'm glad to see that I was correct in presuming that we would meet again soon after our last encounter. Though well, I surmise, based on the commotion I heard, that you did not have an easy time getting to me. We did not, Professor. We encountered goblins outside the tower. That goblins were aware of my vault is disquieting enough. But if they have also made a connection to this tower, then the threat may be greater than I thought. All the more reason for us to move forward. Downstairs, near the entry, a reservoir of ancient magic, like those you've seen before, has been unlocked. Command it to access a doorway. I'm afraid I cannot say more. As Professor Fig cannot join you, he and I will, in time, see you back at the map chamber. 
Remember what you see. We're going to need to understand how Ranrock's loyalists knew about a tower that once belonged to a keeper. For the moment, however, you've more important things to set your mind to. A reservoir of ancient magic, I believe? Yes, sir. You believe then right. I shall leave matters in your increasingly capable hands. That said, be careful. I will, sir. I'm always be careful. Back in the map chamber. A reservoir of ancient magic downstairs near the entry. Just jump down. Oh. oh, yeah, spot of tea. Look at that. Oh. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Anything found up in here? Anything? Nothing? Okay. The first trial. <clears throat> I've seen this before in Gringotts and the restricted section. Revelio. We shouldn't be in the restricted section. That's why it's called the restricted section. Uh oh. What? Look at that. I wish stuff repaired itself like that when I was a kid. Must have done something. Best have a look around. Got a bridge. Look at that. Made it across. Oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. No no no. Oh. Man, don't do me like that. We all know uh, I have a tendency to fall sometimes. I don't think. No, my uh, what you call it? My broom's not an option in here. Sadly. More traces of ancient magic. Something must be different. Money. Put yourself back together. There you go. Uh oh. My bad. Ooh, the portal to hell. You know what? 
There's here. there's spells that I do not have on here. I should probably have on here, right? Fire spell. This is useless. Right there. I'm guessing this should go up here. What is this? Yeah, not doing that one. Excuse me. If I didn't catch out of time, excuse me. There we go. Now I got other spells. <laughs> He's a never welcome sight. Oh jeez. Hey, uh let's talk about this. Um my bad. It's Leviosa. Uh oh. Watch this in your face. Hey, where'd you go? Hey, where'd you go? I was gonna beat you up. These look familiar. Yeah, yeah, very easy, Chris. You saw how well I did that? I mean, I really should be teaching at Hogwarts at this point. Hey. Oh, we got new gloves. Check out the new gloves. They probably suck just as bad as the old gloves. I can't even. Oh, I'm not high enough level for it. Uh, gloves. No, nope, that's no. <laughs> hey, Lyle. <laughs> oh. Uh. Look at that burst of magic. Perhaps I should examine things from both sides of the archway. statues Expelliarmus 
Missed. Oh, can't let me also that thing. Not making this easy on me. Look at Stacy. Thank you, ma'am. I feel special. I got spammers. I hope they hit the like button. And I need more subscribers. I presume I'm looking for traces of ancient magic. But where? Okay. Um, right there. So we're gonna... Oh. Nope. We're gonna Accio this. <laughs> Look, Jessica was here. How do I get this under? I need to see how the room changes when I move in and out of the archway. It seems I ought to explore this archway from both sides. Rebellion. Accio. Oh. So that's it. I need to use both sides of the archway to get the platform to the other side of the bridge. There's a way I can lift this. I need to use both sides of the archway to get the platform to the other side of the bridge. How am I gonna do this? Accio. 
So that's it. I need to use both sides. I need both sides of the archway. Blah 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 blah. Other side of the bridge. But how? So that's it. I need to use both sides of the archway to get the platform to the other side of the bridge. Wonder if I can go up there and do it now. So am I. Ah, uh, why'd I have to choose something with puzzles today? side of the bridge hold on I'm thinking here for a second So that's it. I need to use both sides of the archway to get the platform to the other side of the bridge. Hmm. All right. Let me try this again. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Oh, there we go. Okay. So that's it. I need to use both sides of the archway to get the platform to the other side of the bridge. Now. Hey, GB. Welcome. I should be able to do this now. Look at this. Hmm. So that's it. I need to use both sides of the archway to get the platform to the other side of the bridge. Oh, oh. You missed the jump. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Can 
There we go. Anything good in here? Is everybody ready for Monday? Oh, yeah? Yep, me too. I hate Mondays. Accio. Accio. Oops. But with tomorrow being Monday, uh, Lyle and I uh -oh, will be playing uh, the Wild West mod. So look out for that. Uh, I believe it's going to be. <laughs> uh, 630 uh, PM Eastern Standard Time. So we'll be back with the Wild West mod then. Um, Rebellion. Akio. I didn't go up and around. Um, what the hell? Uh -oh. I ain't gonna work. Yeah, I'm hoping, but I think we're also gonna have a horde night. Um, I think that's gonna be our main concern for tomorrow, to be honest with you. Oh, and it's a downgrade. How oh, nice. Akio. There we go. Nope. Yeah, with the being a horde night, uh, I don't think we're going to do the uh, Twitch integration. Cause that just makes it so much worse. Rebellion. Accio.
There you go, I just need a little bit of that showing through. <laughs> we will get them. <laughs> uh, it's a uh, um that mod's rough enough uh in a lot of cases. For Horde Knight to have the extra stuff is gonna be would be I don't know, I mean it might not hurt, but it's gonna suck. I know what stinks about that is I can't always tell what's going on unless I have file screen up. And that's what makes it kind of tough for me. There we go. And I've thought about switching over to Twitch, you know, oh crap, that's not good. Playing on Twitch, but uh man, that that'd be so many uh streams for you guys to be bouncing between. What is this? I think it'd just be a pain for you guys. And I don't know if that, uh, that dual stream thing that Lyle uses, I don't know if that costs any money. I don't know if I'm willing to spend money on it. All right. Open the door. There we go. There you go. Confringo. Expelliarmus. Oh, 
Definitely not gonna work. Look at that. Look at that, folks. Ha <laughs> ha. He's dead. Got him. What a relief. What a relief. <laughs> Go here. Oops. That's the only one we got. Outfit. Let's see what that ah <laughs> they're all terrible. They are all terrible guys. <laughs> I don't care which one it is.
Your ability to transfigure the world around you is remarkable. What is it? My father isn't getting better. I don't think he'll ever recover from the death of my brother. It is agonizing to see those we love suffer. The trout was years ago. But the pain of losing him is as deep for him now as if it had happened only yesterday. He doesn't need pretty pillars, he needs peace. What if I could help him, Professor? You do so much for your father already. It's not enough. I want to take away his pain. It is tempting, I know, to use this magic that you're mastering to transfigure more than the physical world. But human emotion is a potent force unto itself. Even the most well-meaning and competent witch cannot possibly know the consequences of irrevocably manipulating it. So I'm to watch as my father's pain destroys him. It is not your pain to take. All right, Lyle. Um, hopefully everything goes well. Every year a student sees something sillier than I could ever imagine in their <laughs> teeth. Oh, Miss Morganach, welcome back to Hogwarts, Professor. That's going to take some getting used to, mm. Professor Rickwood. I was so pleased to hear that you'd accepted the position of Defense Against the Dark Arts, Professor. Sit. Sit, Isadora. Tell us about your travels. I was actually hoping that you and the others might join me at my home this evening. There's much I'd like to share with you. That would be delightful. We shall let the others know. Very well. I shall see you then. All crystallized stone. That must be the way back to the map chamber. Rebellio. Huh. Oh. That looks so cool. Look at that. I love it. What have we here? What have we here? I'm a student at Hogwarts, sir. And this is Professor Fig. Professor Charles Rookwood at your service. Has someone completed the first trial? I have, Professor Rookwood. We saw you in the pensive in Gringotts with Professor Rackham. Indeed. So, you found the <laughs> to access Professor Rackham's vault, and you deciphered the map within the locket you found floating above that pensive. I did. I found something that I can't identify floating above the last pensive. Ah, yes. You will find a similar artifact in each trial. You must take care to keep them safe. You'll need them to complete the journey we have set forth for you. Once you have them all, we will tell you what to do with them. Very well. Are you able to tell me anything about the next trial? Before you proceed, I would like to speak with Charles regarding the urgent situation involving the goblins. The damned goblins. The goblins? The student has seen traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. They and their mentor, Professor Fig, not only encountered goblins lurking outside of San Bacar's tower, they also encountered a powerful goblin in my vault at Gringotts. Hmm. I'm afraid it would be wise to halt the trials until we know more. We shall defer to you in this matter. Of course. Now then. Wait, Professor. The name Rookwood. Do you think 
that there's a connection to Victor? Perhaps, but we can't be sure of its significance, if any. For now, tell me what you saw in the pensive. Before the witch from the last pensive, Isadora, became a Hogwarts professor, she argued with Professor Rackham about using magic to remove pain. Hmm. Hopefully the next pensive provides more context. But for now, we should learn what Ramrock knows. I will be honest, I've no idea where to start. Actually, I might know of someone. I saw Serona at the Three Broomsticks speaking to a goblin once. He seemed friendly. Well, it's worth a try. See what you can find out. Of course, don't forget... My studies. Yes, sir. Uh, before you go... Professor? Have you encountered swirling traces of magic in the world? Uh, aside from those along our path? Not that I recall. What are they? Evidence of the Keeper's efforts to manipulate the power of ancient magic during our time. Oh. If I am correct, and I usually am, <laughs> you should be able to use them to inform and enhance your own magic. Thank you, sir. I will look out for them. <laughs> that sounds like me. <laughs> and I usually am. We go to Hogsmeade and sell some of the stuff. Yeah, let's do that. Go to Hogsmeade real quick and sell some stuff. Um, that's what's weird. You can only have like so many of certain items. So you, your inventory isn't like just so many spots. You can only have like two or three pairs of glasses or three or four hats or some something like that. What can I do for you today? Sell some stuff. Very good. Never hurts to keep my stocks replenished. Now the ones that say that they're upgrades, I'm not going to sell. Wise decision. Thank you. There we go. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Possibly. All right. Please see me after class once you have completed the tasks I've set for you. I would like to teach you to send off useful for me. All right. Uh, attend peace class.
We get to go to Fantastic Beast class. Rebellion. This. Oh, this is that. Still can't get in there. Hopefully. What the hell? No big deal, Peggy. Hope everything's okay. Revelio. Uh huh. Uh huh. Come on. There we go. I mean, now that I'm outside, I probably could have just used my broom, but such a nice day for a run. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howand. Hello. This I'm is a furball. Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howand's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class look perfectly safe. That looks perfectly safe. Miss Sweeting, pay attention. Uh, stick its the tongue up your nose. Can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here. You can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> the hell am I supposed to do with this guy? Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it enriches his experience. Look at that. Oh, who's a good fur ball? Feels much better. Who's a good fur ball? Would you mind giving him some beast food? What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. Probably I think we can shit. Safely say that Gerald likes you. Aw. He, he seems very nice. And now he's he gonna is. try to stick his tongue in my nose. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? 
This way. The measles are over here. Those giant cats with maces on their tails. A couple of measles whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jeeks. <laughs> Stupid thing. What in the oh. name are you doing? Tuss, tuss, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone. Hmm. Her name is Persephone. <laughs> That's really not funny. <sighs> Let's go. Stupid Slytherin students. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. <laughs> the measles really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. It appears our time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Ah, there you are. I would like a moment, please. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? Beasts make me nervous. But honestly, I find the beasts' unpredictability unnerving. Wouldn't know it the way you handled them. You'll soon learn that properly controlled beasts can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the savages in Rookwood's poacher pack. <sighs> Sadly, we're the ones who suffer. Stumbling over dead beasts. Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now... Why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, oh boy. I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. Here we go. The fuck do you want, Poppy? Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, Someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. We're not allowed to go into the forest. You've intrigued me. Very well. Lead the way. I'd hoped I would. All right, come on, Poppy. Walk fast. I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Really? That's what well, you say to all the fifth year students, think? Poppy. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. Says that to everybody that she Where's leads into the first force. Where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. Don't worry, we're nearly there. It's just ahead. Stand back.
Ooh, Griffin. Please meet Hyrie. Isn't she just magnificent? Chill, pick your eyeballs out. Oh, hippogriff. Always show hippogriff the proper courtesy before you approach. Better bow to her. Ow. Curtsy. That's right. I knew it. I don't think I've ever seen a hippogriff take to someone this quickly. Hey. You can feed Russia, if you'd like. I come and check on her every once in a while. Bring her pasties, tell her what's going on in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. Nom 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 nom. That's right, Peggy. Blair and Poppy sit in a tree. I'm gonna so, push your ass out for being named Poppy. I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and Highwing cross paths? It's a longer story, but I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again. And that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poacher's influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can. That's right. I had a choice to tell her the poachers are dangerous, but let's go ahead and let her be sneaky and uh, oh, very well. all nosy and everything. Yeah, she gets killed. No big deal. We'll speak again soon, I hope. That's right. <laughs> there you go. Rebellio. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, a Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. 
I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not. Um, from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. That's right. I whooped that uh, troll's ass. My recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Uh oh. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. Oh, damn. Now, if you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Oh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed, which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Strewn? Someone we used the word strewn. Torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. And this one took the form of a demigod. A demigod? Yes, terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demigodes. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes use the bogger to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need Rebellion. your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. I'd be glad to help you, Mr. Moon. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However, will you get in? Hmm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh. I sent you a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> and I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. Oh, dang. Look at that. I missed one. Damn it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's considered essential. Okay. Look at that. <laughs> oh. oh, wait, 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 wait. What the hell?
Here we go. Look at that. Well done. You're in. Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one traps eyes on you. This is a restricted area of the castle, after all. Hello, Amora. Some tea. Butter beer or two if you were oh look at that. My dear dot. Revelio. Be really quiet. Shh. I go in this room for a little bit. That's a level two lock. I can't do that. The D accord and spawns currently in it. Rather poorly, I'd say. Is that so? We're raising a generation of coddled cake flappers that can scarcely tell the difference between aconite and iron. I think he's having me steal these for his own personal gain, person. Look at that. This must be the prefect's bathroom. Hey, John, how you doing, sir? Welcome. Oh. Look at that. Got some new gloves. Oh, 
chance of my venomous tongue catching? Not at the moment, no. Plenty of other perils and pitfalls. I can't. Are my hurry, though. Well, I suppose I should begin my rounds now. I suppose Professor Black knows best, but this is a terrible. <sighs> Galleons on Hufflepuff, excuse me. Hufflepuff? The Ravenclaw? I know when I see a winning bet. And Ravenclaw would not have been that. Oh, that's level two. We can't do those yet. Yes, Peggy, he seems very sketchy. Very, very sketchy. But he's a professor, so I have to do what he said. Who am I to tell the professor no? Another one of those doors. I can't really do anything with it right now, can I? Hello, Homora. Revelio. Good fun and or oh, there's something. That lucky charms oh look at that a lot of gold That's a level two. Can't go in there. Been that. I don't see anything else fun or exciting in here. Oh, oh. already checked that. That's why that. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. Uh, if we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, Rancorous Carp, to an early retirement with his Rancorous. terrible buffoonery. But that does not explain the bogger in Oxmead, does it? I am determined with your help oh, there's to goes discover a ghost. the identity of my tormentor. I'll see what I can do, but I'm fairly busy. I can't promise anything. Uh, understood. Uh, but I hope you will find the time. In case it matters, I do have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. How many statues are there to find? I don't know precisely, but I've spotted dozens. Seems they're everywhere I look. You have your work cut out for you, if you were to ever unravel their meaning. 
You mentioned offering something in exchange for my assistance. Yeah, what am I gonna get, fucker? Uh, once you've brought me enough moons, I'll show you even more powerful forms of. Um, ah. Not every lock is as easy to pick as the faculty towers. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this. What's next? Quest. Do some fast traveling. I'm gonna do this flight mastery test. We're about to see me fail the hell out of this, I can tell you that. Rebellion. <laughs> it's Sunday. Look at that. Rebellion. All right, so that uh, and three. Face bar. You, Gryffindor. Nope, oh, that's the wrong button. What was it to land? Old B. Okay. Amelda Rays? I'll be weak, Sandley. <laughs> Steady now. Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. The nerve. How's he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. You sound jealous. Let's go with the Seems jealous. Someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me? Slytherin Quidditch captain. Jealous of you. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. <sighs> I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. 
Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Gryffindor. All right. Actually, let's go. I can beat your record. I probably can't beat your record. I am going to lose. Oh, I missed those. Ah, no, no. Oh, gotta go back. Look at that new best time. I'm so good. But I'm a Gryffindor. If I give a Slytherin try, that's that doesn't work out too well. Oh, that's not you, you must have cheated you. Oh, oh fine, you won. you won. Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single Woohoo! Is right. My win means something. Terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Ah, uh, I don't worry about your respect. Challenge accepted, then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next what? course near Irondale offers a much. Why are you ladies be trying to flirt with me? You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Well, a fluke. Aaron for Albie Weeks. time is it you know what nine o'clock <laughs> wow okay yeah <laughs> uh save it's already nine o'clock so i'm gonna go ahead and call it here um I do want to thank everybody for joining us here at 6906 Gaming. If you have not done so, please hit the like and subscribe button. And look out for us to uh, go live tomorrow with Lyle from Troll Nation. We will be streaming Seven Days to Die, Wild West Mod, 
Uh, and we should be doing Horde Night tomorrow. That should be towards the end of it, I believe, because I think we're on day 13 right now. Uh, I believe. So look out for that. Uh, it's going to be interesting, <laughs> to say the least. Our last Horde Night was a little rough, so um, nobody died, but it was rough. So until then, y'all take